Greetings fellow engineers and welcome back here on Tartarus Inc. Ah, it's been a while since my last upload on this channel and if you want to know what I was up to, when streams are coming back and how often you can expect new content on this channel, just write it into the comments and I will make a standalone video on this topic. Anyways, what do I have for you guys today? This is the TIS Vector, a working VTOL concept that I worked on during the last couple of days and is controllable using WASD. Keep in mind, concept is the magical word, but more on that later. Design-wise, it is pretty straightforward for one of my builds and people that are around for some time probably see a few similarities here and there. This time, I tried to make it look a little bit more beaten up and used. The normal color scheme I use on my builds didn't really fit in my opinion, and I also tried to make a few things look just bolted, strapped or glued onto the chassis. Like the beacon and add a few damage blocks to the whole theme. And last but not least, I use bright orange metal sheets to simulate a makeshift repair here and there. And to be honest, I'm pretty satisfied of how it came out in the end. But let's go on with what that old lady has to offer feature-wise. Like I said before, this ship is controllable using WASD, while when flying forward, backwards and up, the thrusters rotate in the needed direction and are thrusting as long as you press the according key. Also it has a pretty good cargo capacity if you desire to haul around some goods in the ship, a retractable set of landing gears and because space is a dangerous place you get two Gatlin guns mounted on the front. In addition to that this ship runs a lot of scripts, either to monitor your ship's status or to make it work at all, namely the Easy Automation V2 Phil's ship diagnostics, Whip's artificial horizon script and M-Master's configurable LCDs. But the meat of this concept is the control module by Digi. Now you might think, whoa, that's pretty awesome, that's gonna be my new standard ship. But now comes the concept part into play. First of all, the testing world is without block destruction enabled, because it takes a little bit to get used to flying the ship. It works with block destruction on, but you have to fly this old lady very carefully because of the rotors just disconnecting when flying turns too tight. Try banking and wider turns, then it's pretty stable. Also, do not press multiple direction keys at once. This version of the VTOL concept can't read inputs like forward and up at the same time. Just follow one golden rule. This is not a high speed fighter, but an old rusty lady to cruise around with but I will try to improve on the stability in future versions. So that's it and I hope you liked what I brought to you this time. If you did, leave a like, sub, share this build with others and follow me on Twitter and Twitch. And I hope to see you all again next time and as always, keep on engineering and cheers!